new McLaren 720s, new picture of next McLaren Super Series model leaked. McLaren 650s replacement will debut at Geneva and will be called the 720s, and a freshly leaked image reveals how it'll look. The first full picture of McLaren's new Super Series model, the 720s, has leaked ahead of the car's full unveiling at the Geneva Motor Show next week. The picture published by Bloomberg and since removed, confirms the 720s name will be used, and should McLaren's naming convention carry over from previous generation models we expect the car to develop 720 metric horsepower 710bhp in old money. It's not the first time the car's design has leaked a grainy image surfaced on INSTagram weeks ago. However, it's our first look at the car's more aggressive rear end and butterfly style doors. The sides of the car are smoother than the 650s too, as the 720s ditches McLaren's large side intakes. Looking inside we can spy McLaren's redesigned cabin architecture, boasting a center console angled in towards the driver and body colored interior accents. The leak comes after McLaren teased some of the cabin technology buyers can look forward to using on the 720s. The big news is the adoption of a new type of digital instrument display behind the steering wheel. Called the folding driver display, it's a swiveling digital instrument binnacle offering two different ways to view information. In full display mode it offers up a large screen for digital dials reminiscent of Audi's virtual cockpit setup, while slim display mode tucks the screen away behind the wheel, displaying only vital information on a thin strip. McLaren says that the latter mode is ideal for drivers who want minimum distraction from the road or track, or for those who want the simplest interface possible. Alongside the folding display, an 8-inch central infotainment screen is present in the cabin. It's a touch screen, and audio, media and navigation controls are all found here. Fine leather and machine solid aluminium switchgear will trim the cockpit. The interior pictures are the latest in a long line of teasers released by the brand. Previously, a video of the new supercar in action on track was revealed, along with a few fresh details regarding the car's performance specifically braking and grip levels. Compared to the 650s, the new Super Series model gets lighter, stiffer brake calipers plus carbon ceramic discs as standard. McLaren says that with these new components on board the car can brake to a standstill from 124 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds. For reference, the P1 achieves the feat in 4.5. It'll also get new Pirelli P0 Corsa tires developed specifically for the second generation Super Series models, which McLaren promises are stickier and introduce more mechanical grip. Regarding the powertrain, the new model will feature a new 4.0 liter V8 engine with two turbochargers. There's no news on the power output yet, but McLaren says the engine takes the car from 0 to 124 miles per hour in just 7.8 seconds and does a standing quarter mile in 10.3 seconds, 0.1 seconds faster than the 650s. The engine is codenamed M840T and features a set of two tweaked turbochargers that are said to be more responsive and less prone to turbo lag than previous versions. A new exhaust system has been fitted that emphasizes the noise of the bigger V8, and there will be a sports exhaust option as well. A new image also shows the engine bay lighting on the car. A leaked picture on social media gave us our first glimpse at the new McLaren, and following that the brand released a picture of the car in testing. The teaser picture shows the car in action, although the camouflage on the bodywork means the leaked picture still gives a better idea of how the car will look when it goes on display at Geneva. Information on the new proactive chassis control 2 system fitted to the car has also been revealed. It uses seniors to read the road and tires to change the suspension damping, keeping it continually optimized. The driver can choose from comfort, sport, or track modes to decide how the car's computer system uses the data it's constantly collecting. Another new feature is McLaren Variable Drift Control, 
which allows the driver to control the stability control to a greater degree, allowing more control over the assistance systems at play for the driver. The image above was leaked online previously, showing us how the new model will look. The swooping lines and sculpted doors are the start of a new styling direction for the brand, along with the redesigned headlights and roofline. The British brand says the new model is twice as aerodynamically efficient as the current car, as well as having 50% or more downforce. The wing can even be used to help slow down the car, acting as an air brake. It's also 15% or better at cooling the engine, with a new type of door that allows air to flow through into the radiators, and also to create extra downforce. It's expected to be named after its power output and that name is widely reported to be 720s. The car has already been spied testing and McLaren teased us with pictures showing the new carbon fiber mono cage 2 body structure, as well as the active rear wing before the undisguised picture leaked on INSTagram. The gaps in the roof are unlikely to be for Targa-style roof panels, expect a spider version later in the car's life, but give a clue to McLaren F1-style door openings. With the door sills set lower than even the 570 models, this is set to be the most accessible McLaren yet, with insiders saying that there'll be more space in the car for storage and in the front boot. Visibility looks to be pretty impressive all around, especially looking forward the A-pillars in the image look especially slim. McLaren will also play on the carbon fiber structure by giving the customers the option to leave it exposed in the cabin with a visible mono cage option. The look of the new car is expected to usher in a very different style for forthcoming McLaren models, too, with 15 new cars expected from the company as part of its Track 22 business plan between now and 2022. The new Super Series isn't expected to cost dramatically more than the outgoing 650s, and we'll get our first look at the car undisguised at the Geneva Motor Show. It should be on sale by the middle of the year.